Hi, Joanna Hadaraska, Nutrition in Motion, Nutrition for Body, Mind, Spirit, and Sport. So our body is energy. Food is energy. Our emotions actually affect that energy. Our emotions affect how we choose our foods. And then a lot of times, depending on what food we choose, that will affect how we feel. And then that some, can sometimes trigger judgment against ourselves and the food that we chose. So right now, what I'm wanting to bring up is just the awareness that energy is food. Our emotions are also energy. We only have a finite amount of energy in our system. And when we're trying to... Um, improve our immune system, we want to hold on to that energy as much as possible. We want to recognize where are we leaking energy. I just read a, um, a testimonial from one of my clients where um, she's recognizing where she's leaking energy and with the foods that she's choosing. And a lot of times when we are creating that, that, that judgment, we are creating negativity and we are losing energy that we need right now for boosting our immune system and keeping it supported. So right now I want you to just be aware of what's happening with the food choices that you're making. You know, I have kind of healthy crackers here where they're made out of almonds, uh, but crunchy foods are typically when we're feeling overwhelmed, when we feel anxious, when we feel stressed. And it's okay to feel anxious, worried, and stressed. That's kind of what's going on right now. And give yourself permission to let that emotion surface. Don't try to hide it because that'll just make things worse and your energy will be leaking into that stress where you want that energy for something a little bit more positive. So I want you to just start being aware of where are you possibly creating judgment of the food that you're eating, of how you're feeling, and the, thing, the choices that you're making. And if the first step is usually the easy one of being aware. And then the second thing is to be able to move through that, accept where you are, and then try to choose something more positive. Try to choose something that is loving to self. Try to connect with your heart and say, okay, what is it that my body really needs right now? Maybe it does need that cracker. Maybe it does need the chips. But once you start recognizing and making the, um, the association between the emotion and the food choices, it's not to say that you're going to stop eating that food right away. It's going to be more like, okay, I want the chips. I know I'm, I'm, I'm stressed. I know I'm overwhelmed. But now I'm going to just be able to enjoy that one cup of chips instead of eating the whole bag without control. And that's really what, this, what um, trying to keep your energy on a higher vibration is all about is, one, it's choosing the foods that are higher vibration, but accepting where you are and understanding the relationship between your emotional state, the judgments that, that are possibly there, and how that may be draining your energy. And right now, it's not about, you know, we have to get you on a specific regimen so that you're eating only high vibration foods. It's looking at the, the bigger picture and seeing where are you leaking the energy. Can we seal that leak with love, compassion, and understanding so that you can make different choices in the future that will not trigger more emotions, more judgments, and more energy leaks? If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, Joanna Hadaraska, www.nutritioninmotion.net.